hi, welcome to my 8th hammer tutorial. Today we're going to be making laser trails that follow grenades or other weapons. I'll show you how to do this. Um, I'll show you how to tie it to a grenade and a knife. And it's good for secrets and death run maps and other useless stuff, just for fun. Okay, so what I have built here is just small room, some lights, two spawns, roof, and a floor. You can do this wherever you do not need this exact area. Okay. So first we're just going to do a nade that follows people. So create a weapon and then your desired grenade type. So I'm going to do a flashbang. Now you need to name it. So we're going to name this. I'm going to name mine nade underscore one. Alright, and then you want to raise it up a little bit. Move it to where they can grab it. Okay, now the next part that you want to do is create another entity, and you want it to be an Envy Sprite Trail. Alright, and this is really simple. A lot of people think it's a lot harder than it actually is. So what you're going to do now is, you're going to put it... If you want it to like be right at the center of the player, put it right at nade height. Or if you want it somewhere else, just fiddle around with it. Just put it on fast compile and just recompile it to the new height. Now, on the sprite tra trail, make the parent the grenade. And then, set your desired settings. Now, you really don't want a very long lifetime, but you don't want it to be very short. Five seconds, I find, is very good. Choose your color. I'm just going to make mine red. And your effects amount, just leave that 255. If you're feeling adventurous, whatever, just mess with it. Sprite Trail, just leave it that as Blue Laser 1. It's it. If you just want a trail, just leave it. It'll be fine. And then the end with and start with, those can be changed depending on what you want. Now that's just that. You can double up and do all sorts of crazy shit with this. But... If they throw the grenade, if the entity that it's tied to, in this case the nade, is thrown, the the sprite trail will disappear. So, keep that in mind. Now for the knife, it's going to be a bit harder to do, but it can still be done. Alright, for this we're going to make a weapon knife. Now... Since players can't just straight up drop their knife, we have to strip the knife from them. Stripping the knife is very easy, it doesn't take long, you just have to make an entity. Alright, so now we have our knife, give it a name, and now browse for the trigger material. And place the trigger material on the knife and make it touch the floor and also a bit higher all right now press alt to enter and then control t make it an entity and now we want to make this a player underscore weapon strip apply and now you'll have nothing under key values and what you need to do here is click add and under name, put target name, and then for the value, put name. So I'm putting weapon strip. And now it has a name. Now we need to create another trigger that will go just one segment bigger, no, actually, one second smaller inside of the player weapon strip. Alright, so now create that. Press Control T to make it an entity and make it a trigger once. This does not need to have a name because it only is triggered once because it is trigger once. Now under outputs, click add, target the weapon strip, and you want the output name on on start on start touch weapon strip 
strip. Now what that'll do is that will take every weapon away from the player. So only do this if you know you can take all, everything away. It'll just take nades, guns, everything. So only do this in like death run if they only have a knife to begin with. Alright, and now you can tie whatever you want to it. In this case, I'm going to tie something that spins above their head. And go for my Mario materials here. I'll just put the spinning flower over their head. Be a little cool. Get the no draw material. And now you can tie anything that has the ability to have a parent. You can tie that to a player. So now I have that. I'll just apply the material now. Fit it. Now I'm press control T, make it funk rotating. Parent, blah blah blah. Tied to the knife. Flag, start on. And not solid. Not solid's a big one. Okay? And one thing that I missed while doing this is under your nade and knife, you want to have the flag start constricted on so they do not fall to the ground. And under the sprite trail, under render mode, make sure it is additive. If it's not additive, it will be it will be surrounded by a black border. Now we compile and go into Counter Strike. Alright, we're in Counter Strike now. Go ahead and join a team. Alright, there's the knife with the flower spinning above it. It will take away my knife as soon as I walk over it. There we go, the flower's above me. I will go to third person now so you can see. There we go. There's the flower. Back to first person here. Now walk over to the grenade, and there is the red trail. It will not leave that spot unless I throw the grenade. And that's all there is to it. For placement of the sprites, just kind of dick around with it. It'll take a little bit to learn how to use it. There really is no easy way to do it right off the bat. So just kind of goof off around with it and have some fun.